It stands as a monument to freedom, power, democracy. It was burned to the ground in 1814 by the British, then quickly rebuilt, and it hasn't been breached since. I'm talking about the White House. Hi, I'm Donnie, senior White House tour guide. Welcome to the Oval Office, the most famous room in the West Wing, where bills become law and history is literally made every day. But this is only one of 132 rooms spread over three buildings that make up the world's most iconic residence. For instance, the East Wing houses a state-of-the-art movie theater, a place where the first family can immerse themselves in an action thrill ride. Then there's the Blue Room. This is the main parlor where illustrious guests get that special White House welcome. And of course, hosting the world's leaders requires top-notch security. With a no-fly zone, bulletproof walls and glass, and a team of sharpshooters on the roof, there is literally no safer place to be than right here. That's why when the president needs a little R&R, &R, he often gets it by just staying home. Freeze! Get your hands off my Jordans! There's even a swimming pool where the first family can enjoy a refreshing dip. Prison. Get me to the vault. There are also top secret places, like the PIOC, or the Presidential Emergency Operations Center, a fully functioning nuclear-proof bunker so the president can run the country from inside in case of an attack. If that ever fell into the wrong hands... Like Abraham Lincoln said, If we falter and lose our freedoms, it will be because we destroyed ourselves! And as long as this magnificent set of buildings is here, that's not about to happen. Tour's over.